Hi St. Mark's. This week I want to introduce you to a prayer practice that I learned from this book called Praying in Color by Sybil Macbeth. And this is particularly good for kinesthetic learners, for people who want to be in motion but are still trying to find ways to focus their prayer attention on someone or something. So you start with a simple shape. It doesn't have to be anything in particular, just whatever comes out of your pen. And then you write the person or the place that you are praying for. Could be yourself or uh, a friend or family member. Could be a place in the world. But wherever you feel your prayer is needed, you just start there and you work on this shape until it feels complete. Now I might go in greater detail than this if I was sitting down doing it on my own, but for the sake of this video, I will stop with a little bit of the shape and then you can use markers, colored pencils, crayons, pastels, paint, anything that works for you. And you just spend some time decorating. Bringing this person or this place to your heart, to your mind, and also in conversation with God. And she says that after you feel like this image is complete, that you move on if you want to continue praying for someone else, just add to your drawing and see where that takes you. In my case, I might pray for various ministries of St. Mark's and spend some time offering my prayer, my blessing with these folks. And again, I might go into more detail, but you simply continue adding who you're concerned about, what's on your heart, and you continue coloring for as long as feels right. You can also do this with um, some kind of trait or gift that you're trying to cultivate in yourself, ask God for, and you might find new connections as you pray and offer and draw these connections. And again, you would see what shapes feel right and decorate and color those. Or you could start with a shape that gives you room to add various pieces to it. And you might begin to put your names or places that you're praying for in there. If that is still too free form for you, she says, try starting with a grid. And leave the ends kind of open. I think I drew this too big for my screen here, but I think you get the picture. And you can continue to add more. As more names come to you, people ask you for prayer, and you might just fill them in as the days continue and you hear of people who need our attention. You could color in those shapes in all kinds of different ways. Another thing you can do with praying in color is to write out a quote, whether that's 
a prayer or a poem, a piece of scripture, a piece of a hymn, anything that is meaningful to you. And you simply add color around it and see what comes out for you in that. I have found that sometimes the ways that I emphasize things surprise me later when I look at it and even have shown me um, some insights about the things that are worrying me or the things that I need to be more attentive to. So you would continue on. And she also says that if all of this is just too much that you might try writing your prayers, but keeping it all black and white. So you might begin with maybe someone's initials. Or a region of our country. Or maybe just for all of us. But then you would just begin to fill this in. But rather than using color, use shapes. Keep it black and white. Keep it simple. And find some connections. So I hope this has um, given you an idea of a new thing that you might try that um, could be a different way into prayer than you have used before. Peace to you all.